Thank you for staying with us. This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we discuss the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I've got my co-anchors with me, Ewa Oluwa Witu and Ife Oluwa Oshunka Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> How are you? Not bad at all. Are you sure? Yeah, and you? I'm good. Do I look bad? Thank no. you. No oily face today, right? Yeah, no oily face. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's start with Harvey Weinstein, whose um, third sexual assault accuser in his ongoing New York trial has been identified as former actress Jessica Main. She was named in court. Okay, she was not named in court proceedings and documents, but according to reports, her identity became known in Assistant District Attorney Megan Hast Haste's opening statement in Mahat Manhattan Supreme court. She claims she met Weinstein at an industry party in Los Angeles where she was 25. According to the prosecutors, she alleged that he first raped her at a hotel in New York in March 2013 after injecting himself with an erection drug. Weinstein reportedly raped her again the following November when she agreed to cut his hair in another hotel room. He faces life in prison for reportedly sexually assaulting the three women and has denied the allegations. I'm tired of this case, actually. I, I expected you to say that. Yeah, because they need to just um, put this man behind bars already because I think they have enough evidence against him already. But if they're saying they don't, then obviously they're lying. Because mm. that's the way I see it. Because um, almost 100 women can come out against you and then you still can't say that there's no element of truth in everything they've been saying. And we didn't have so much people coming against Bill Cosby or Al Kelly and they're behind bars. So I'm still going to keep saying it like this is um, the... Um, what's it called? The white man privilege. Mm. Do you understand that is going on out here? So I think it's very disturbing because we've been going on about this AV thing. So it's like the richer you are, the more influential you are, the more preference you get in the court of law. And that's exactly. And the, more, the more light your skin is. You didn't add that part. So. But you're light skinned. You no, will not try. Not that, not that kind of <laughs> You are the one who brought white supremacy in now, so they have to be wise to be under yeah, the white supremacy. Yeah, yeah, and then we also what happened to um, just a small letter as well, because like if we're going to be referring to the um, lighter you are, Josie is a um, mixed race, and then we saw what happened to that as well. I don't know what happened to Josie, but continue. You don't know what happened to her. <laughs> yeah, but continue. You think Josie is innocent? I've always said. Well, it. you know what you think is it doesn't really matter <laughs> at the end of the day. Do you really think Josie is innocent? I don't think he's guilty as well. Okay. So. But you don't think he's innocent as well? I, I know I don't think he's guilty, but whether he's innocent or not, he's still left to to everybody's Just imagination. Just as guilty yeah. as so far, Abby. Oh wow! Now, no, now that's that's overreaching. No, yeah, that's yeah, that's way too much. I'm not, I'm not overreaching. You are. It's, it's my opinion. It's okay, what fine, I think. Your opinion. Let's hear yeah. what I has to say. I mean, I think um, if I said it though, I, I we've had enough of this, and I think that man should be behind bars already. Mm -hmm. Like he rightly said, we didn't have so much women coming out to speak against this black men before they were put behind bars. So yeah. why is this one taking so, so much time? And I mean, but then let's say there's a process, maybe as yeah, a good an lawyer, trial. yeah, yeah. It's an ongoing trial. Maybe as a good lawyer that, you know, is very sound enough to defend him and they will not put him behind bars till he's found guilty. Mm -hmm. So let's just watch what happens. White privileges. All right, we'll keep watching and following the story to see how it ends. I hope it just ends right. I mean, we that, don't know I mean what that's it. Right. Probably yeah. end with him giving compensation and the kind of apology and the putting on community service and house arrest for a while. It might not like be you in jail. Said, probably. 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 Keep watching. Yeah. Let's just hope for the right thing to be done. Yeah. yeah. Okay, moving on to the next story. Mr. Easy is giving us tea and dodo on Twitter <laughs> as he tells us how much Joe Boy has made and what his intentions might be. The Banco Music label owner and singer tweeted, and I quote, since Joe Boy made a million dollars, he has been wayward um, has he has become wayward every day, posting pictures and licking lips, trying to attract people's daughters. So, <laughs> there's first of all a conversation to find out if Joe Boy has, actually, has made actually made a million dollars. I mean, I, I'm, I'm not sure how we can confirm that. Mm. But if his boss is saying he has made it, then maybe he has. 
Um, yeah, like you rightly said, maybe, but I really don't think that Mr. Izzy wants to come and spit or really give us the juice of how much Joe Boy has made. I think this was just um, a joke. It was banter. Just banter, you know, he was just trying to say now girls is attracting girls and girls are liking him and of course girls like joe boy mm. so I, I really don't think this we is, should take the figures yeah, serious. serious because even him doesn't come out to tell people what he has and what mm. he does not have so he's one of those that, that are very conservative so i don't think he'll want to do that to someone that is under him mm -hmm. i don't know but if it seems you think Say otherwise she won Leave a boyfriend because of me. I'll be honest, she doesn't. Yeah, Joe Boy. She not only me, she wants she want to say she don't want, want nobody. Mm. Where's my boots? The what? My boots. She's in church. Oh, he yeah. <laughs> said his boots. <laughs> oh, you call his complete. I'm not his boo. I don't say boo. I said she's in church. My boots in church. Ah, uh -uh. you said she's in church. Yeah, where's your church the... girl now? Ah. Have you broken she's up? She's not in church now. Come but on. she took you closer to God and she takes yeah, you to church. Yeah, but she's not in church on a Tuesday morning, though. Okay. It's not that deep. It's not deep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so back to this Joe Boy story. Um, Joe Boy is possible he has made a million dollars because he's had a very successful career. If anybody comes out to say that Redman has made over a million dollars, I don't think we'll be arguing on this table. The fact that um, we don't see these people doing as much and all of that, but... Um, I mean, we've seen Joe Boy. One, one million naira. It's one million dollars. Yeah, one about. million dollars is is possible, but in terms, okay. of, it could be in terms of assets, mm. investments, and um, all of that. So, a million dollars doesn't mean it's outright check. Do you understand? So I'm not going to dispute the figure because um, it's, it's, it's Even a, when it comes to investment, you have to have made a certain amount of money then to invest it before your investment to start yielding, um, right? I'm sure by now he has endorsements. Maybe, maybe we don't know about them. And um, by the time we put all those figures together, well, okay, now that I'm thinking about it, like, is that, is, <laughs> is, 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 is that arguable, though? And people don't know about it. Anyway, I think I would like to it's, go by what a wife said. It's probably just for banter. Yeah, I don't think it's serious. Yeah. Yes, anybody, nobody well, I don't think a Mr. Easy, like, his record label owner, wants to come and disclose a Yeah, thing that's, that's my point exactly. Like, even if well. he had made up to that, yeah. I don't think he really would want to talk about it. And we never can tell. These people get, you know, private um, invitations Gays to perform that we that. don't know about. Yeah. And they pay them huge amount of money for this. So anything can happen. And Joe Boy, like if I rightly said, had a very successful year. Yeah, yeah. He did. He did. He did. He so if, if, of course, if I had a million dollars or if I made a million dollars in a year, come on, I'll be trying to attract everybody's mothers, not even daughters. Wow. As in, he's even trying that he's still going for the daughters. Mm. I'll be on their mother's cases. Mm. <laughs> Do you understand? Oh, so um, big shout out to Joe Boy if he actually made a million dollars because I think that's very commendable and it shows that our entertainment industry is growing big enough because mm. uh, and even if you didn't still could just do yeah, because he's doing he's amazingly doing great, well yeah. and yeah. shout out to Mr. Easy too for pushing discovering him, him and yeah. pushing him so yeah but the it's, old it's a good empower, time to be alive empower um, what's his name what's the thing again empower Africa or something like that Mm. You were doing what told me, so okay, no, was the, no, that was where it was discovered, the <laughs> yeah. Empowered mm. thing. That was where it was discovered. I think it was the winner of the whole um, Empower 100 artists and all of that. So, Mr. Easy is doing great things, and Mr. Easy has done well for himself as well, mm. um, under the Starboy platform as well. So, big shout out to Whiskey as well, you know that. Let's <laughs> mm? not go into that. Is Mr. Easy signed <laughs> under Whiskey? Elsie, let's not get into on that. Okay, let's not get into that. Like no, it was on the Starboy um, imprint. Properly signed. On no, the sign. no, I said on the Starboy imprint. Okay, Wizzy, please, can you explain the Starboy imprint? Okay, Wizzy mm -hmm. never actually signs anybody. I don't think Whiskey has signed any artist like if you have a legal contract and you're signing. Mm -hmm. It gives you his platform, it does the management thing, it pushes you, it pays for videos, and it brings you out on shows. Mm -hmm. Whiskey has never signed that, okay, I'm going to give you a car else and you're my so all, this, <coughs> all that you said is what he did for Mr. Easy. Yeah, that was what he did for Mr. Easy. Okay. okay. We won't get into that. I mean, I was not, let's yeah. not even go. Why? You guys don't believe that? 
Ife. Ife. This it's is an OG, you know. Okay. <laughs> it's time for a quick break, but for those Ankara lovers out there, the slay mamas and papas who like to add a touch of Ankara to every style, Afri Classic has got you covered from bangles to earrings, bags, purses, and so much more, even throw pillows and sneakers. Get your Ankara fashion and household accessories and gift items from Afri Classic. That's at A F R I C L. A S S I K C on Instagram. Stay tuned, tea time, we'll be right back. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child at the scene every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Right <laughs> oh, Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to die, everybody feeling all right. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself minimal are you? Mm. Apala music is for mature-minded people. Like, I got DM sometimes from <laughs> Malawi, like, woo! <laughs> this is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Our government is creating conditions for trouble that can have dramatic consequences. Neglecting youths on the street with no hope, no support, and no future. And this is surprisingly coming from Naramadi. Why are you guys still surprised? I mean, every time you speak to something that makes sense, you're always surprised. And this is not the first time, this is not the second time, this is not the third time, but I'm you're not, not the only I'm one. Not, I'm not Honestly, wired. Honestly, you're not the only one. Let me say I'm not wired to deal with drop That is it. And because everybody do have no money. So I'm not wired that way. I'm still getting used to that. <laughs> So if I, uh, what you think? Let's let's not focus on the messenger. Let's focus mm, on the message. message. So. Okay. So um, I think Mr. Mm. I said Mr. 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 <laughs> Mr. Nayamali, yes. In in this case, we'll be yeah, calling him Mr. Nayamali. <laughs> yeah. No, no, Mr. Fees. Ah. Mr. Fees, yeah. Mm. Oh, Mr. Fees. Mm. Okay, okay. I know Mr. Fashola. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I think um, what Mr. Fashola said is 100% um, true mm -hmm. because um, if we keep neglecting the youths, this will still um, lead to the increase in crime rates, mm -hmm. increase in fraudulent activities, mm -hmm. increase in um, rape, increase in um, violence, increase in a lot of things. But if you focus on youth empowerment, you put the, um, the youths where they're supposed to be because we see a lot of educated people out there that right now they don't have jobs. Mm. Do you understand? And they're on the street every day. They are even thinking about they're going to have one square meal, not to even talk of three. Do you understand? And you're not telling me that out of frustration, if somebody comes to that kind of person and say, "Oh man, I have this deal, or we can rob this place," you, somebody that doesn't have money, of course, an he angry would think man about is an it. Angry man. Mm -hmm. He would, as in, even if he's not wired that way, there's no way he won't think. As in, he would have a second thought. Tempted. Do you understand? He would be tempted. But let's focus on youth empowerment. Now we keep picking up people, SARS keep arising people. Like, let's bring the Ibadan issue into this now. Mm. A lot of people were picked up from the club. Now, this is somebody, these are people that are making legitimate money that you don't even know. But you pack them together. Now, like, um, you made a valid point that their HR was probably watching. Mm. And some of them would lose their jobs over this. And we know, we all know how difficult uh, it is to find a job. a job in this country. So imagine I lose my job to that. I'll be very upset. I'll be very angry. Now, if we're talking about youth empowerment, we're talking about this same cabals. We started this not too young to run bill and then you people shut it down completely we don't even have enough young people still in power do you understand which is something that would have helped a lot of people because that's if they actually do their jobs mm. right because some people were doing it for clout and just to also be part of the system do you understand but the ones that were really genuine with their intentions would have done a lot of youth empowerment for a lot of <laughs> Hmm? Were you a debater in secondary school? Why? <laughs> Try to convince and not confuse. Were you? Did you? Did 
you try? I was a smart kid, yeah. But you were not a debater. Mm. I was a smart kid. So for me, what Daramali is saying, I feel like it's off the back of the recent conversation. I can't remember who started it, but it's about this um, small boys that you see on the streets mm. begging. Um, begging in traffic. At every traffic light. And someone was saying the government needs to do something them about the street, them. Yeah. Do we have that facility to take them out? If we don't, can we start building it and take them off the street? Because they being there and growing on the streets is going to breed something that will come back to hurt us. Even we we, we feel we are in our cars let, and uh, I mean, know, let me explain better. And moving, but they are day, very young right now. Mm -hmm. It's easy for them to you know beg for money, try to you know clean your car, and then you pay them. But when they go older, they'll be ashamed of what they are doing, mm -hmm. and the next thing they will opt for is stealing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The next thing they will opt for but, is but, but dragging your dragging phone. Your phone, phone your picking up. Yeah. Already they harass you. Mm -hmm. Why do you don't want to give them? They will start telling you things. Like, yeah. like they things feel like you don't they feel they're begging is comes to the entitlement. So once yeah. they beg you, you have to give them. But another thing is, um, we can't wait for the government for everything. It starts with you and I. I know somebody that um, is taking these kids off the streets one after the other because um, to pay for a government school tuition mm. for you to go to secondary school is not that expensive. Maybe part time you're paying like five thousand. Yeah, but you know sometimes I it's mean, more I think we should there has to be shelter. Aside you know, that, you cannot just I get them that. to school and not keep them somewhere. Where are they? Where Honestly, they aside, I, I get what you're saying. People and people, trust me, there are so many people out there doing, doing it. in yeah. But the point is, the people that are supposed to be responsible for this thing, we need to call them out and make them they think that this has to be done. They from the from the onset. Oh, we'll we'll, 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 I mean, if we don't stop people. talking well, about it, the only way will. that this government or these people will start being responsible is when we have a change in that okay. system. I remember when um, Fashola was the governor mm. of Lagos State. Mm. Gio, you that was that's a legend. That was um, when this whole taking the beggars off the streets really mm. happened, mm. and there was a facility where most of them were taken to. If they couldn't, let me use the word that was used, then deport you <laughs> back to your state mm. and all that, or you were really a minor. Mm. They had those facilities. Now, mm. I, I don't know well, how don't functional know those facilities are right now, and if anybody is paying attention, but at the time, we saw a level of reduction in the number of beggars mm. on the streets. I mean, it was way worse than this. So, it's not like they don't know what to do. It's not like it's, it's not even like the blueprint is not there. But we need somebody to start getting this somebody jobs honest. done. Hmm. You know, somebody very honest because I'm sure even if the governor says okay. This so -so -so amount should be used for this particular project. Mm -hmm. The point is, it won't be done because somebody just wants to add all that money to themselves alone. Which is why alone. I said that until we change the current people in power, nothing will change. Do you understand? So we're just praying and hoping that someday mm. they will give the youth a chance to get in power. Um, well. I don't think it's just about the youth. Mm. Even, the, even in power now, there, there's a good they're number good people, of um, yeah, they're good people, um, young, people. young people in power. I think and we a all need number, to but to I flush think out the corruption in our system. Yeah, on a, uh, Not even just system, system now, ourselves. Like, mm. we are beginning to see um, corrupt practices as the mm. norm, and that is where our problem really lies right now. I remember one of the one-on-one -on -one conversation I had with someone on Plus TV here, and mm. he was saying that he doesn't even expect that Buhari will just be able to flush out corruption, because it is ingrained. Like, it, mm. is, it is now in our DNA. We don't see anything wrong in things that when, when, wrong. We see it as survivor. We believe that nothing yeah. goes for nothing. No, mm. I, no, I apart think from that, I think when, it's, when, it, when you're the one doing it, it's favor. Mm -hmm. You know, it's yeah. favor. It's when love. someone else is doing it, it's corruption. It's corruption. That's the problem. So, hopefully, okay. I'm glad that someone like Naramali is speaking up mm. on this. Someone and, like Mr. Fashela, you uh, mean? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, hopefully, there'll be a, I know there'll be a change, because we're, it's we're getting, getting there, happening. Yeah. It can't happen once, but with time, we'll get there. Definitely. All right, moving on to the next story. Kodak Black's mother tearfully addresses fear for son's safety in prison. The rapper's situation in prison allegedly threatens his life so much that his mother has to take matters into her hands. She has hired um, high-profile lawyer Benjamin Crump to make sure her son is okay. Benjamin is famous for representing the family of Trayvon Martin yep. in a case against his killer, George Zimmerman, in 2013. On Wednesday afternoon, January 22, to Kodak's mother and Benjamin visit Kodak, uh, visited Kodak at Federal Prison in Southwest Miami for a scheduled 
meeting and welfare check but as they arrived they were told that he was at a bus that took him to another facility in kentucky the attorney benjamin believed kodak's transfer earlier that day was not a coincidence saying we believe they intentionally moved him so he couldn't meet with his attorney end of quote kodak's mother and his legal team plan to take legal actions on his behalf and also plan to visit him in kentucky Good. Mm. I mean, this is a very good move, and now I'm beginning to feel like something is up, mm -hmm. really, because I honestly don't think it's just a coincidence that it was the same day he was supposed to meet with his Anthony that he was, you know, moved from the prison, and it's just scary. Still, I mean, we're still going to go back to the same thing that the system just in the world is just corrupt and very bad mm -hmm. people just want to and see bias. other people bias people just want to see other people mm. you know go down if you're not my race i want you down if you're not my friend i want you down if you're not family i want you down and mm. it's just really terrible i just hope they get out of this and he gets out of prison alive yeah, sure. Yeah, that's the aim now. Nah. Yeah, to get out alive. Alive, yeah. The whole alarm is jet towards thinking, I think they want to kill, kill this guy. Yeah. They want to kill this guy. So I really hope he comes out of this one alive. Mm. And the mom was saying if he dies, that she will also take her own life and all that. So I just hope. And when people utter such statements, they probably be would do it. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? That's what she said is her son is alive. So mm -hmm. if her son is gone, why is she leaves? I think him, I think people mm -hmm. people that matter in that um, society should start speaking up now because mm -hmm. uh, we are not hoping this happen. If this guy dies and the mm -hmm. woman now takes her life, that is when you will see people rising up mm -hmm. and saying justice for justice for you've treated him wrong. why now when that we she's are, crying we out, a chance to you know can they at least lend the voice? You are not the lawyer. Thank God she has the funds to get this kind of um, man to represent to the mm. son. But I think um, voices can be raised now yeah. to get him out of Petitions the situation. Petitions can be signed yeah. and all of that. Um, like what happened in the case of Mick Mill, mm. um, a lot of people stood up, signed petitions, and then before we, we knew it, he was out of prison. Mm -hmm. And um, he was also um, doing the um, old prison reform, reform system yeah. and all that. So I think someone like Kodak too should um, start raising awareness from prison and like you rightly said, people should also start He has already, that's hashtag. why he posted on his Instagram yeah, and last Yeah, that's what I'm saying, people should start the hashtag like free Kodak or justice for Kodak and all of that. Mm. If, even if they're not going to free him, we have to ensure that he has the he's right... He's safe in there. Yeah, yeah, he's safe in there. At least he gets the attention of the right people. Or you transfer Fine. Right Maybe he has been transferred to another facility. I just hope he won't be Kentucky. going through the yeah. same thing that he was going through in Miami. It's also yeah. possible yeah. that the transfer was a response to the Instagram post. Mm -hmm. So until um, his mother and the lawyer can get to him and find out what, what exactly is going yeah. on, Maybe we should just watch the space and mm -hmm. see what happens. And maybe that's what they are trying to yeah, avoid. That's what, yeah. Mm -hmm. And please freak or dark. Freak it. Or at least oh, make sure he's make safe. Sure he's make safe. Sure, okay, don't freak or dark because Kodak, Kodak is a been, bad boy. Yeah, he's been naughty. So, yeah, just yeah. Yeah, so make like him safe. Last yeah. time, I think after this one, he, he will come he out will right. Yeah. <laughs> we thought so after the last No, no, no. This, this one. No, this one, I'm sure he has gone through. He has seen real life stuff with mm -hmm. the story mm -hmm. put out on Instagram. I'm mm -hmm. like, if this guy comes, I will learn his lesson. I'm sure he does not want to go back, go back in there again. Mm -hmm. He's still young, so some, sometimes I wonder why these people feel like violence is supposed to be part of the music culture or the hip hop culture because that's not even how it's supposed to be. Music is a universal language that speaks to everyone. So why are we not trying to put out more positive messages out there than just trying to talk about gangster and, and even if violence. you think it's about gangster and gangsterism and violence, look at the people leading in the industry. Mm -hmm. They are open with their story. They are open. With, it's not like here they tell you the grace of God. These people are open enough to tell you their struggles, the bad decisions they made, how it hurt them, and yeah. how they are living mm. a better life right now. Why mm -hmm. not try to emulate them? Those Why people. not try to look up to people like Jay-Z? Honestly, I feel like what people, is their people, problem? people cannot tell me, like, um, someone cannot come and tell me that you don't think, um, you, you don't know that being a cultist or being part of a gang group is bad. Mm -hmm. Because every day you see a young person dying because he's part of a gang and mm -hmm. that's because he got shot by, you know, an opposite gang. What's the good thing in that? What's the joy in that? Every day, sad stories keep coming out of being a gangster or whatever. So, we, they know the truth. Mm -hmm. Now, the point is you have to be 
God has given us the grace to yeah. pick evil mm -hmm. and good, and you know it yourself. So just pick what's right for you. If not, okay. you end up in the prison, and then you'll be scared for your life. Yeah, I think yeah. Yeah, people in the hip hop space need to choose their mentors or mm. models right. wisely. And choose their need lyrics and yeah. their words wisely as well. Mm. Okay, and that's how I wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching, and remember you can watch this conversation all over again by subscribing to our YouTube channel, Applause TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on Also TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you, as always, go to my co-anchors, Ewa Oluwa Witu and Ife Oluwa Shukeye, and the entire production team. My name is Elsie Godwin saying thank you for watching, and do stay with us.